Right. Well, in their Oval Office meeting, President Biden and President-elect Trump agreed to work together to free the hostages in Gaza. Meanwhile, a new report shows Hamas is torturing the citizens of Gaza. Now, viewer discretion is advised as some of this video is disturbing. Here's Chris Mitchell from Jerusalem. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, paraphrasing President Biden, said he's ready to do everything in our collective American power to secure the release of the hostages. Yet not all the hostages in Gaza are held by Hamas. Palestinian Islamic Jihad released a propaganda video of their hostage, Sasha Trufano. Trufano's mother viewed the video with mixed emotions. On the one hand, I am very happy to see him alive and see him talking. And on the other hand, I see that he is not in a good mental or physical state. Inside Gaza, Israeli forces released hundreds of hours of closed-circuit television footage. The IDF said the materials expose how Hamas brutally tortured Palestinian civilians suspected of opposing its rule. Some were hung upside down, others tied up in agonizing positions or tortured while their captors sat inches away talking to themselves or completing paperwork. <laughs> Israeli media details the anger many Gazans feel towards Hamas. An Israeli Channel 12 reporter got exclusive access into Gaza and heard this unfiltered view from a number of its citizens. The video showed IDF soldiers providing water and medical aid. A number of men on crutches explains how they were wounded. Many said they favored Israel. The report also noted hundreds of Hamas terrorists have been surrendering, a sign of how much the IDF has weakened the terror group. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Most of your major news and broadcast cable outlets are not going to show you Hamas treating Gazan citizens that way. When you have people saying, I'm watching them steal our food, and people speak up and they're being maimed for life as opposed to they're saying, just kill me. This is incredible stuff. And the truth is now coming out. And even though Hamas has been uh, decimated, it's as brutal as ever, Terry.